you're out for a nice drive in your BMW, enjoying that crisp, solid feel they're known for. Then out of nowhere, bam, that DSC light flicks on. Might feel like the engine's pulling back a bit, or the car starts behaving funny. Don't go hitting the panic button just yet. That lights the car's way of saying, hey, something's off with the stability system. Now DSC stands for Dynamic Stability Control. It's the system that helps keep your car steady and planted, especially when roads get slick or you take a turn a bit quick. When the light shows up, it means the computer spotted something odd, could be a quick sensor hiccup, or it could mean one of the system parts isn't doing its job. Either way, it's worth popping the hood, figuratively and maybe literally, and checking things out before it turns into a bigger issue. Like I always say in the shop, when the car talks, it's best to listen early, rather than late. Let me tell you what usually lights up that DSC warning on a BMW. I've seen these roll through the garage more times than I've had coffee go cold on me. First thing I'd look at is the wheel speed sensors. That DSC system needs a clean signal from all four corners. If one of those sensors is filthy or flat out dead, the computer goes cross-eyed and shuts down stability control. Nothing fancy. Just a dirty sensor making a whole lot of noise. Next up, the battery. These modern bimmers are fussy about voltage. If your battery's weak or your alternator's slacking off, you'll get random warnings lighting up the dash like it's Christmas morning. Now let's talk ABS. DSC and ABS are tied at the hip, sharing modules and sensors. If your ABS module's on the fritz, it can take down the whole stability system with it. You'll be chasing your tail if you don't check that out. Ever had your steering angle sensor go bad or just get knocked out of line? If the car doesn't know where the wheels are pointing, DSC can't keep things under control in a slide. I've seen folks swap parts before realizing it was just a misaligned sensor after a front-end job. Then there's the engine side. MAF sensors, throttle bodies, you name it. Sometimes the drivetrain hiccup triggers the DSC light and it's got nothing to do with traction or cornering. Misfires and air intake issues can sneak in and throw the system for a loop. And don't even get me started on water in the connectors. Moisture and corrosion are sneaky devils. Just a little rust in the wrong plug and bam, codes popping up like mushrooms after rain. Bottom line, that DSC light could mean a dozen things, so don't just throw parts at it. Gotta scan the codes, check the basics, and go from there. That's the kind of job where experience saves time, and maybe your wallet too. You've got the right mindset, and that's exactly how I'd handle it in the garage. Tossing parts at a problem without reading the codes first? That's a surefire way to drain your wallet and your patience. Start with a BMW-specific scanner, IST if you've got it, or something solid like a Foxwell or Autel. Generic OBD2 tools just don't speak fluent BMW and can miss crucial info. Once you pull those DSC-related codes, they'll give you a roadmap. From there, I'd zero in on the wheel speed sensors. Seen plenty of good cars throw a fit over a sensor that's just gunked up with road grime or cracked from wear. Then take a look at your battery and alternator output, especially if that battery's been hanging around more than four or five years. Low voltage can cause all sorts of phantom problems. After that, Check your fuses and relays. One blown fuse in the ABS or DSC circuit can shut the whole show down. And don't skip over the connectors. Green fuzz or water inside those plugs has a nasty way of causing intermittent faults that'll drive you nuts. Finally, if the codes are pointing to the ABS or DSC module, don't be so quick to replace it. Try a software reset first. Sometimes these modules just need a little electronic nudge back into place. You follow that order, and you'll be fixing the problem, not just swapping parts and crossing your fingers. Smart wrenching saves more than just money, it saves headaches. Here's the way I'd walk you through resetting that DSC light just like we do in the shop after we've dealt with the root of the problem. First off, kill the engine, lock the car up and give it a solid 10 to 15 minutes to sit. Sometimes that little break is all it takes, the system resets itself, and the light stays off when you fire it back up. If it's still there when you restart, grab a proper BMW diagnostic tool and manually clear the fault codes. That's usually enough if everything's been fixed properly. Now, if you're feeling ambitious and nothing else works, you could try a hard reset by disconnecting the battery for about 30 minutes. But be warned, modern BMWs can be fussy with power loss. You'll want to make sure you've got any radio codes and settings handy before pulling that move. 
And here's the big tell. If the DSC light pops right back on after all that, you didn't quite get to the bottom of it yet. Back to diagnostics we go. It's better than replacing parts on a hunch. Need help figuring out what that code means? Just holler.